Hi, and welcome to the construction company best usage of the workflows. Workflows, or checklists and forms, are a powerhouse of a reporting channel. It allows you to digitize paper forms and routine procedures, as well as reporting systems and compliance forms, all digitized and logged. Construction companies utilize this in a few main ways. For example, a safety hazard report that is submitted by the employees on site, a start of shift checklist, and even other compliance forms where they can acknowledge protocols, all of which can be published to some or all users. Let's have a look at one of those as an example. The end of job report. The Workflow Insights page shows me the general activity of the form. Let's check out what this workflow looks like to the employee. I click on Preview in the top right corner. I can see that there's a heading. They can put in the job name, the location, the start and end date, what was actually done, an image, and even signatures at the end. You can also mark some fields as required. Let's take a look at the end result. Click on Show Entries to see all submissions. Click the blue icon to see the individual submission. From here, I can see who and when this was submitted by, and all the answers and inputs, including the location, images, and signatures. And I can even give feedback to the employee using the manager fields. All these can be exported and attached to any invoice. Let's have a look at how we can create a workflow and publish it. Back into the main lobby, click on Add New in the top right corner. We can start from scratch or use a template. Let's use a template. We can search for it based on the title or category. Check out the preview and confirm. The creation page has three sections. On the left, your information fields or input types. The middle is your working canvas. And on the right, you'll see the mobile preview. Each question from the template can be duplicated, deleted, and edited. You can add as many questions as you'd like and change the order of them as well. Through the workflow settings, you'll be able to set your manager fields, create automatic reminders, and reports. Let's publish and check out the employee experience. To access my workflows, I click on Assets. Scroll down to find the workflow folder, and I can choose which workflow I want to submit. I click on it and start marking off the questions and submit it at the end. It's that simple. Thank you very much for joining me. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to reach out at any time.